Hello everyone. I am Ashish K Datta, emeritus professor in the Department of Agriculture and Food Engineering, IIT Kharagpur. Uh, we have worked together with uh, our technical staff to develop fruit leather making machine. Amshatto dudhe feli tahate kadoli doli, sandesh makhya diya tate, hapu shupu shabdo, chari di ek nistabdo, pipra kadiya jaye pate. This poem was written by Rabindranath Tagore when he was around 17 or 18. And what he meant is that he was enjoying a side dish consisting of Amshatto or mango leather, milk, Bengali sweet meat, and banana. As fruits are highly perishable, their processing is not only desired but essential. Their demand in the off season is often fulfilled by processing them into various forms, such as candy, concentrates, jams, jellies, murabba. Fruit leathers or fruit bars are intermediate moisture foods that generally have a shelf life of 3 to 6 months. A popular example is mango leather, commonly known as arm popper. Although jackfruit, guava, banana, strawberry leathers can also be made, only mango leather is sold commercially. Currently in India, arm popper is made using sun drying. For large scale production, mango puree is mixed with sugar. The mixture is spread in a thin layer in open fields and is left to dry in the sun for two to six days depending on weather and sunlight hours. Even though the process is easy to learn for farm laborers and has less energy expenditure, it has a lot of disadvantages. For one, drying takes too long, suffers from intermittency and might need constant supervision to protect from environmental contaminants and the product quality is very poor in terms of nutritional and sensory attributes. Trade dryers can moderately reduce drying time, but problems such as cooked flavor, loss of nutrients and natural color still persist. Quality retaining techniques like freeze drying have high operational costs and therefore can only be used for high value foods like cardamom, coffee beans, saffron. The continuous refractance window dryer, RW dryer, is a thin layer dryer. It provides fast drying rates. A 2 mm thick mango puree layer can be dried within 18 minutes using RW drying, as compared to 8 hours in tray dryer. A 3 mm layer takes around 36 to 40 minutes. Besides being quick, the machine prevents unnecessary exposure to heat, making the leather nutritionally and bacteriologically far superior to sun dried or tray dried products. The machine can be used to make leathers from different fruits. Mango, banana and jackfruit leathers have been made using continuous RW dryer during trials. For demonstration purposes, here banana puree mixed with milk is being used using the laboratory prototype of continuous RW dryer under development. The water bath is heated to reach just below the boiling point, that is 95 plus minus 2 degrees Celsius. And automatic controllers are used to maintain this temperature. The puree is spread in a 3 mm layer using a screw feeder and an adjustable spreading plate to check the thickness. The Miller belt movement and the screw speed can be adjusted to fit the drying time and thickness required. Drying commences immediately and at a high rate, and the product's natural visual appeal, nutritional qualities and sensory attributes are not lost because the product's temperature does not exceed 80 degrees Celsius. Since the Miller sheet covers around 93% of the total surface area of the hot water, the evaporation losses are very low. Furthermore, the walls of the water bath can be insulated to reduce heat loss. Studies show that RW drying uses 75% lesser energy than freeze drying to produce a similar level of quality. Finally, the scraper blade removes the leather and it can be collected in rolls or sheet folds. The prototype continuous RW dryer is in its final stage of development. The working and the effectiveness of the dryer in drying fruit puree have already been tested. Accordingly, the technology readiness level or TRL is in the range 5 to 7. The dryer can fill the huge gap in fruit processing industry, where most of the fruit-based products are highly processed or full of preservatives. Fruit leathers made from RW drying give fresh tastes without any additives and can be stored up to 3 months at normal room temperature and 11 months under refrigerated conditions. It can be helpful for small to moderate drying enterprises as well, 
since on laboratory level the manufacturing cost of the dryer was under 5.5 lakhs which could go a lot lower if manufactured on a large scale furthermore the space occupied by the dryer is very small for instance the prototype shown here measures 4 meter in length and 60 cm in width these dimensions can be extended according to capacity need or space availability today's busy professionals do not have time to go for elaborate uh, for five course meal so they are looking for nutritious healthy snacks or ready to eat quick uh, hunger uh, remission so therefore that this mango leather will go a long way this can serve as a dessert in lunch boxes that is supplied to metropolitan cities by food caterers it can go as a sweet just as a sweet dish for children or adolescents and this can also uh, serve the purpose of uh, charging with mango pulp what is got from the fruit is 80 percent water and 20 percent solid in the mango leather that becomes something like say 62 percent so this is a quick recharge for people who are looking for ready to eat snack mango leather obtained by our machine is more hygienic than other uh, production methods our method is not only better compared to other methods nutritionally and hygienically it is also cost effective and the second thing is that this gives a ready to eat snack for people who are busy who do not have the time to go for a five course or four course meal they can quickly recharge themselves with this product the mango leather or other fruit leather can serve as a quick energy booster because of its high concentration of sugar and it is mouth pleasing also the mouthfeel taste is very good for this product